Welcome back to the Netherlands Gazette. Today we discuss style tips for tall men because if you're tall, you face some very unique style challenges. As you know, off-the-rack clothing is usually designed for men six foot and under, which is about 185 centimeters and under. Yes, there are long sizes, but oftentimes they're not quite proportional, and so it's not uncommon for a tall man to have really long wrists that show out and a jacket that's just too short. You probably know it, a dress shirt off-the-rack probably easily comes intact simply because it's too short. Shoes can be a big problem, especially if you're a size 15 or up. It's very hard to find shoes in general, let alone quality shoes, unless you go custom, which is very expensive. Ultimately, just like in architecture, the goal for tall men is to look proportional because that doesn't accentuate their height, but it just makes them look normal or more like an average man, which neither emphasizes their height nor does it make them look short. What I mean by that is everything has to be blown up. Your ties have to be longer. Your lapels have to be wider. So stay away from skinny lapels, go for something that's a little wider. Patterns have to be oversized, such as not a regular stripe, but a much bigger, wider stripe. The cuffs or turn up on your pants have to be bigger. Stay away from slim cuffs. And rather than going with super skinny pants, give a little extra room because it will just look more proportional overall. Apart from that, what are the tall man style do's? One, add layers because it adds dimensions and depth to your outfit. If you wear a combination or a suit, try to wear a vest because it hides more of your body and it shows less of the deep V that you can see of the shirt. Alternatively, you can wear double breasted jackets that have a higher buttoning point. That way you also don't expose too much of the V, which makes you look more like a person of average height. Don't get me wrong, you'll still look tall, you just won't stand out too much. On top of that, do wear varying textures of the materials because they break things down and it makes you look more harmonious. Second, do embrace the odd combination. What do we mean by that? a sport coat and a pair of pants that are non-matching. A suit, on the other hand, matches. And if you want to learn how a suit should fit, definitely check out our video series here. Now, you can buy a navy suit, let's say a gray suit, and combine each piece with each other. But bear in mind that you always want to wear the combination. So keep that in mind when you buy a suit, because a chalk stripe suit is harder to combine than, let's say, a solid brown, blue, or gray suit. Visually, wearing a different color on your upper body and your lower body will break it in half. It will A, make you look proportional. At the same time, it will not emphasize your height, but just make you look more like an average stylish man. Three, do choose belts over braces. For the same reason as you should wear a combination, a belt helps you to visually create a border between your bottom half and your upper half. While suspenders work well for bigger men because they hold your pants exactly in the right position all day long, belts have a visual advantage. At the same time, if your braces or suspenders are ever visible, they have these vertical lines and they just accentuate your height versus the horizontal line of the belt makes you look a little shorter than you actually are. Do embrace interesting shoes. What do I mean by that? When you have a combination, go for a contrasting shoe, nothing that blends right into your pants. And if you want to understand how to combine shoes with socks and pants, I urge you to check out this guide here. Stay with classic models in shades of brown. Maybe if you want to add a spectator, you can do that, but try to keep the colors very close to each other. Otherwise, it is too outlandish and it's too strong of a statement, which in combination with your outfit will just be over the top. Five, do get everything you buy altered. I mean, seek out an alterations tailor and really have every single thing changed because a regular off-the-rack jacket will never fit you. When you buy a suit, make sure there is enough fabric left and oftentimes on a cheaper garment, they really save on that. So there's really no room to make anything bigger, but you rely on that. So buy a quality make suit. Make sure you have at least two and a half centimeters or an inch, ideally more, because the more fabric you have, the more play and room you have to get a fit and a look that is proportional and right for you. Six, 
do invest in made-to-measure or custom garments. I know it sounds pricey, but luckily these days you don't only have the pricey bespoke option, but you also have lots of made-to-measure options as well as online made-to-measure, which gets you a decent quality product starting at a few hundred dollars. Not only can you choose the fabric in your style, but if you get the measurements right and they understand how they have to adapt a pattern for a taller men, you end up with a product that you don't have to alter and it will fit you much better than anything off the rack after an alterations tailor. Seven, do invest in long or extra long ties. Most men these days buy ties in just one simple length, but because you're tall, your upper body is long and therefore you need to have a longer tie that covers your entire upper torso. So the tip should end right at the waistband of your pants. Especially if you wear a lower rise pants, you need an extra long tie. Most companies only offer a few long ties. However, at Fort Belvedere, we have every one of our threefold ties in a long length that works much better for your body height. So please check out the selection here. Do wear oversized patterns. Because you're taller and maybe also bigger, you want a taller pattern so your overall appearance is proportional. If you go with a very small pattern houndstooth, for example, it accentuates your height. On the other hand, if you go with a larger houndstooth, you look proportional and it makes you look smaller and more average, which is what you're going for. For example, the tie I'm wearing here right now is a very bold stripe and that's exactly what you want because a very thin stripe would just accentuate your height and that's not what you're going for. Nine, do buy over the calf socks. You never wanna appear as if the skin peeks out underneath your pants because that would mean your pants are too short and you're too tall. So make sure never to expose any skin and the best way to ensure it is to get over the calf socks in the size you need. For good selection, please check out our shop here. So what are the style don'ts? You should definitely avoid wearing vertical stripes that includes suits or shirts simply because they accentuate your height and make you look even taller than you are. Two. Don't wear single breasted three button jackets, instead opt for two buttons because they will make you less tall. If you go with a double breasted jacket, make sure that the button configuration isn't too slim, but has enough width because otherwise it will just make you look even taller. As I mentioned before, it's always a good idea to add a waistcoat, either matching for the suit or maybe an odd vest. To learn more about odd vests and how you can combine them, please check out our vest guide here. Three. Don't wear short sleeved shirts and shorts at the same time because you as a tall man will expose more skin and it will make you even look thinner and taller than you actually are. When you go with shorter sleeves, make sure the sleeve comes down further on your arm because that way less of your skin is exposed and you look again more proportional. The same is true for shorts. Avoid very short shorts and always go with a longer inseam. Four, don't wear low rise pants. Over the past couple of decades, the rise of the pants has become lower and lower. Back in the day, the rise used to be more on the natural waist or around the buttoning point of your jacket. And for you as a tall man, it really helps to do that when you wear a jacket because the jacket will cover it up and you will never see any shirt of underneath your buttoning point. Because if you're tall, that would make you look even taller. Five, don't wear too many solids because they will allow to look at your height and focus on that. Instead, go with textured patterns. That doesn't have to be a lot of a contrast, but you can opt for a herringbone, for a pinpoint, for example, and then some other subtle textures of a larger scale. From afar, they may look more like a solid, but they have a very nice color depth, and when people come closer, they won't just think you're tall, but they look more at what you're wearing, and it looks like an elegant, harmonious outfit. Six, don't wear anything that is too short. Because of that, I suggest to either buy very long pants with an inseam and then have them shortened to fit you, or you buy unhemmed ones in the first place because they always come with more than enough length so you'll always be fine. When you start out, get a real cuff. That means it's not cut, but it's just folded up and then folded down. That will always give you extra fabric. And if eventually you figure out that you don't like the cuff, you can always have it folded up on the inside. That way you have the extra length in case you'll ever need it. When you have your pants altered, it's important to wear the same pair of shoes you will wear with it afterwards. If it's a pair of dress shoes, wear some dress shoes. Because if you show up with a pair of flip-flops, it's very hard for the alterations tailor to get the length right. And oftentimes it ends up being too short, 
which makes you look lankier and taller than you actually are. I hope you found these tips helpful. And at the end of the day, it's important for you to keep in mind that proportion for you is king. Go with larger things and try to make things bigger than they would be on an average man sizes outfit. In today's video, I'm wearing a vintage 1930s jacket, which I found at a shop in London. It's actually a suit, but I'm wearing it as a combination, which is exactly what you should do as a tall man. I'm combining it with a pair of mustard colored pants. They have some room because I have big thighs. They have large cuffs, which is exactly what you should go for because you're a tall man. I'm wearing boots with it. My shirt has a subtle waffle texture. It's white. My tie is from Fort Belvedere with an oversized stripe. It is diagonal and it makes me look a little shorter. The tie is also a wool grenadine, which gives my whole outfit more texture. And it's combined with a herringbone pattern in my jacket. To round up the full outfit, I'm going with a pocket square that picks up the purple tones of the tie and it just harmoniously works together. Again, I'm going for a larger print pattern and not something very small. Of course, I'm also wearing a brown belt, which separates my torso and my feet, which makes me look a little shorter. And the socks I'm wearing are Fort Belvedere striped, shadow striped socks over the calf. Because I wear boots, you're not gonna see them, but if you wear regular shoes, you will definitely see the socks. The cufflinks I'm wearing are monkey fist knots from Fort Belvedere. They're gold and classic, and you can wear them with basically anything in your wardrobe, no matter it's a suit or a combination. The ring I'm wearing has a dark green stone, which goes well with my tie, and it's just overall harmonious with the rest of my outfit, which consists of mustard tones, brown tones, and greens. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our in-depth tall man style guide on the website and make sure to subscribe so stuff like this comes right to your inbox.